The Hydro's team at Coralview has been teasing me for months about big stuff coming at Magna. I'm at Magna, I'm here with Connor. Tell me about all the big stuff. We had a lot of big things to release. I know I kept you in the dark, but it was for a good reason. There was a ton of, ton of cool stuff in here that we released, starting with the XD. The XD was a device that a lot of people were looking for to expand on their modular system. They ran out of drive ports and they needed a little bit more. So this one I think a lot of people saw coming and okay. we were teasing that one a little bit. I wanted you to think that's all we had. The XD okay. was a great, uh, great add-on with three extra drive ports, but we took it to the next level. We're not gonna stop just there. We've been innovating for the last couple of years. Okay. Research, and research and development is a top priority. That's what we talked about last time. Right. If we're gonna compete in this market, we have to be doing that consistently. Up next, we have the X10. The X10 we're very excited about because it has four onboard liquid dosers that are Those variable are... speed. Yep, built right into the side and silent operation. Even at full tilt? Even at full tilt. The actual plastic and the actual moving parts are gonna have a little bit of noise, but the uh, motor on the inside is dead silent. Okay. And it is, uh, the driver allows it to run at a great variable speed, anywhere from 0.1 mil a minute all the way up to 150 milliliters a minute. Wow. So really whatever you really want to do with this yeah. thing, it's you're going to have that option to do. Okay. So we added a couple things onto there. The standard sense ports, the drive ports, the pro port for pH or ORP. Yep. But now we have salinity. Everybody's salinity. been asking for salinity. But salinity never works. But we want to do it right. So it is not going to be inside the tank. Of course it can be. Okay. If you want to put it inside the tank, you can. Right. But with anything, you're going to get electrical noise for conductivity. So we wanted to move that over into the Hydros IV, isolation vessel. It is a vessel on the side that eliminates any noise using a K10 factor salinity probe. Okay. We can measure salinity very accurately within the threshold it should be measured. With a K10, it is a higher quality, good salinity probe. Okay. We also have isolated sampled pH in there, so we can sample an isolated pH. And with that, we can also test alkalinity now. So wait, it's an alk tester too. So it's also an alk tester. So, using 0.1 norma sulfuric acid, you can mix reagent, and using the onboard dosers on the X10, uh, you can reagent in, sample in, and waste out. But the best part, Mark, is we don't have to use these dosers. You can use anything. Hydros will never pigeonhole you and say, you have to purchase this X10. Okay. If you have other dosers that are compatible with Hydros, dumb dosers, Hydros dosers, you can still use the IV to test alkalinity. Is it easier, more convenient, more redundant, more safe with the X10? Of course it is, but we are not gonna tell you you have to go that route. So I could have other dosers to run the IV and then these could run my alkalinity, calcium, yep. whatever dosing. Absolutely. So the IV would take three dosers out of it if it were to fully run on that. Okay. But what I would suggest doing is because this has four onboard dosers, what a good solution would be is to have one and two be the reagent in and the sample in, which needs to be accurate. Yep. And the waste out really just needs to get water out of there. So we can use any sort of doser and we still have the two remaining higher quality yeah. dosers to do the functions that we want to do. So you're not using a super accurate doser to just take away waste. Exactly. There's no need. Can you? Does it make it easier? Of course, but you don't have to. Okay. And this hangs on the side of my stand. How do I mount this IV? So you can set it. You can set it on the ground. You can hang it. There's going to be a hanging kit in the back of it. Okay. Um, so kind of wherever you want. And then the top will fall right off here. You can see the lines go in, the sample go in. But also the best part about this is because this is just a beaker, it's a vessel, more than one tank can go into here. If you have dosers yeah. available on other tanks, they can go straight into there. There's not going to be a limit of how many tanks can test alkalinity, pH, or salinity off of this vessel, as long as you have the dosers available. And the software will tell me this is the alk reading from this tank or that tank. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. So okay. we wanted to provide opportunities for smaller guys, as well as aquaculture facilities. If you have a single tank, a freshwater tank, a saltwater tank, a reef tank, an aquaculture facility, a grow yeah. farm, whatever it is, Hydros is gonna be the answer for you. So you can almost run 100 tanks off <laughs> this one thing if you had all as those As long dosers. as you can fit all the, the, the wires down in there, you absolutely can. Really? Yeah. It is, uh, I, I mentioned last time, we've been working to innovate and working on our line. So we've had a lot of fun stuff. And I can view all this through the web, just yep. the sharing. Of course, like we you can about. do it on our app. You can, uh, if you are, if I trust you as one of my shared users, I can share access to you. So, but do you trust me? Is the question. Uh, read only.